For certain people, hope you're all well. Apologies in advance if the lighting is a bit dark or the lighting changes during the video. Um, but I'm going to talk about Callum Smith versus Arta Batervia, which is taking place, taking place this weekend in Canada. So this fight will be taking place this weekend in Canada. Callum Smith, Arta Batervia, and this is a real good fight. They're fighting for the IBF World Light Heavy. They're fighting for the WBC Light Heavy. And they're fighting for the WBO Light Heavy. And of course, most boxing fans want to see Arta Baterviev versus Dmitry Bivol. But first, Arta Baterviev has a hard assignment. And this is a harder assignment than Bivol had against Lyndon Arthur. And as we saw with Wilder versus Parker, upsets in boxing do happen. So this really is a potential banana skin fight, in my opinion, for Baterviev. Because Callum Smith, he's very versatile. Um, he can fight on the inside. He can fight on the outside. He's tall, he bangs hard, and he looks like he's hitting harder now. He's at light heavy. And Baterviev, on the other hand, as a destructive puncher as he is, let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. He has struggled in recent times. Uh, he was struggling against Anthony Yard. I think Anthony Yard hurt him in that fight. He was hurt against Callum Johnson. And for me, Baterviev looks a little bit vulnerable at the whiskers. And the age of Baterviev now is, let's see, 38 years old. Callum Smith, it's not, it's not listed on box rec. And I follow so many boxes, sometimes it's hard to remember everything. I know he's in his 30s, but how old is he? He is 33 years old. So, you know, let me, let me try and move this one time, see if it makes the um, line less herky-jerky. Hopefully it remains like this. So, yeah. Um, Callum Smith is the younger, fresher man. Arta Baterviev is the older fighter here. And I can see ways that Callum Smith potentially can win this fight. Callum Smith, if he decides, if he elects to trade in the pocket which he can do but if he chooses to do that against Baterviev I can see him either getting beaten up over 12 rounds or, or getting stopped but if he boxes smart and he has the IQ and the capacity to do it and he keeps on the outside and keeps Baterviev behind a long jab and clinches when Baterviev does close the gap instead of Instead of squaring up, this is what um, Callum Smith does sometimes. When the opponent closes the gap, he tends to square up. Now, if Callum Smith can keep Baterviev at the end of a long jab, which I just previously alluded to, and whenever Baterviev gets anywhere close, he holds, uh, then I can see Callum Smith picking up rounds, legitimately picking up rounds in this fight, potentially winning the fight. And if he can time Baterviev coming in, if he can um, time Baterviev on the way in, I'm under no doubt that he can hurt Baterviev or even drop him. So there are ways for Callum Smith to win this fight. But for me to, you know, if he elects to go on the inside and collapse the pocket, I think that's a mistake. Whereas Baterviev, for me, he needs to get close, you know. It's not impossible to outbox Callum Smith on the outside. I mean, Canelo did it. I don't think Callum Smith showed up against Canelo, in my opinion. But Canelo outboxed um, Callum Smith. And who else was boxing? John Ryder um, potentially outboxed Callum Smith. Uh, and there was someone else. George Groves was outboxing Callum Smith. So it's not impossible to outbox Callum Smith on the outside. But in my opinion... Arta Baterviev would be much better off collapsing the pocket and working away on the inside because I think he's got the power to hurt Smith uh, or at least deter him and discourage him. So this is a fascinating fight. 
Now, if I was a betting man, I would be putting money on Viterbiev to win this fight. I think Viterbiev is probably going to win this fight. Either, you know, on points, late stoppage, I think Viterbiev is probably going to win this fight. But be under no illusion that Callum Smith is a live dog in this race. And I would not be shocked if he won this fight. What do you guys make of this fight? I think it's fascinating. Everyone wants to see Bivol versus Batervia, but, you know, just as Anthony Joshua and Wilder were supposed to fight each other, this is, in my opinion, very, very um, dangerous assignment, and there's a very big chance that you might, you know, the script might be ripped up again. Let me know what you think. Who's going to win? How's the fight going to go? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Hit the notification so you get a notification when I'm making a new video. And if you appreciate my work, leave a donation. A link for that is in the description. And with that, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.